Alright, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Freak Ben IQ back at it again with another video, and today I'm bringing out the best ISO build on NBA 2K20. And to start off, this has been proven. Put your name as ISO God, and you have a plus 10% green percentage. Trust me, you wouldn't want to not change your name. Trust me. But anyway, you're gonna make a point guard, and then these two things. Like in every build video you watch, does not matter. Now, anyway, for this build, you already know what we going with. We, yes, sir. The most toxic build on the game. And what you're gonna want to choose, you're not gonna want to do the pure speed. You're gonna want to do the speed and vertical, because if you go into your uh Gatorade drills and you get 99 and SS3, you'll have a 99 speed, 99 assail, and 99 vertical. 99 of all of that, boy. You gonna you gonna be dunking on niggas, jumping over niggas, grabbing boards, shooting threes. Woo! Gonna show on the burner, but anyway, we're gonna start with a slashing and finishing. Max all of this out so you can get 11 finishing badges, and then you're gonna come to your shooting right. You are gonna have to put up everything here, put up everything on shooting, so you can get 10 shooting badges. And then for your playmaking, max out your passing and your ball control. And I'll give you 20 badges. That's all you need to be able to combo up. If you are a screen user, get off my video. <laughs> that ass, get off my video. But anyway, perimeter D, lateral quickness, still max all that out. And then you're going to want to put up till you get 20. Wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I fucked up some. Hold up. But that ain't close shot too. And you get 20 defense, 20 playmaker, 10 shooting, and 11 finishing. If you grind for legend, that's 21 slasher, 20 shooting, 30 playmaker, and 30 defense. If you lose with that build, you suck. If you actually lose with a legend, two way slashing playmaker, you you honestly are trash. You're dirt. I said it first. But anyway, for your body type, uh, it don't matter. I usually go with compact or solid. Okay, for your height, you can make them 6'4 or 6'5. Either one of those are perfect. I mean my 6'5. And then what you do, you put the weight all the way down. And then with a wingspan to speed boost off rip, you just got to put it down one. But what I did, because I wanted to be able to shoot threes like a crackhead, I put my wingspan all the way down. I would advise you to go 80.7. But I went all the way down. So, for your takeover, choose any of these three. Do not choose Shot Creator. If one of you, I saw a, like, you don't know the amount of retards I've seen with Shot Creator Takeover. They get in takeover with this build, and it really doesn't help them. This does not help a two way slashing playmaker. Because you're not going to be able to pull off the dribble. So, choose Lockdown, Slasher, or Playmaker. I went with Slasher because I wanted contact dunks. And yeah, so they compared me to Westbrook, Steve Francis, and that Murray nigga. <laughs> but anyway, we're going we gonna to test the bill. I'm going to show you the best badges to put on. Put on these badges if you want to be a GOAT. You heard it here first. You put your guy at 99, you know what I'm saying? Then you max out your contact finisher, max out fancy footwork, max out slithery, relentless, giant slayer. The reason I did this, fancy footwork, so I can BS off of hop steps, BS off of hop steps, BS off of hop steps. If I'm out of energy, if the center picks up. That's every reason I put on them badges. And then for your shooting badges, what you want to do, you want to go gold quick draw, right? Gold range extender, right here. For these next four, silver green machine, bronze dead eye, bronze hot zone hunter. This is the best. If anybody says different, they are capping. The only change that I would make is that, but I like green machine more. So put on them badges, you're going to be greening. That's a fact. And for playmaker badges, 
Gold unpluggable. Hall of Fame quick first step. Hall of Fame handles for days. Okay, now right here. If you play with if you ISO and you play with a teammate that can't shoot, run this. And honestly, you could do that. Or you can do this. Or something like that. One of those three. I would probably go right here if you want to grind her up. But if you only ISO and you play with somebody that can actually shoot, please do this. Please. You run this or this. But I kinda like I say, most of these spot ups cannot shoot. If you have a play with a good spot up, you are lucky. So most of the time I have to run this because I play with shitty spot ups. And for your defensive badges, you run clamps, intimidator, chase down artist, hall of fame. Interceptor Bronze, Pick Dodger Goal, Pick Pocket Bronze, Tireless Defender, Rim Protector, Rebound Chaser. And why do I run this? Okay. So, for y'all little virgins that I love going left, right, behind the screen, I got Pick Dodger and Clamps. For y'all virgins that go left, right, behind the screen, I think you're good. And then I also got Intimidator for that. And Tireless Defender. And honestly, if I do come around on you, and I want to be toxic, and you just go left, right. I will. I will really do this. I will really do this. If you're playing someone who goes left, right behind the screen, do me a favor and run these badges, please. Just piss them off. Fuck all you screen users. But anyway, the reason I run this, left, right. If you use the uh, annoying step back pro eight, I'm gonna rip you every time. If you think you're going to go in the paint with me, I'm going to block it. And then if you do blow by me, I'm chasing that hoe down. <laughs> That's why I run these badges. And also, for y'all niggas running, throwing Stevies, I run Interceptor. This badge don't even work. Honestly, you could put that right there. Or honestly, I'd probably do it like this. But this is why I run. And yeah, that's going to conclude the video for the day. Hope y'all enjoyed my best ISO build. It's been your boy for Ben and IQ. And I'm